everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and uh, as you can see we've had a little change here <laughs> I had an accident with the um, epoxy resin I spilled the part B and I was all sticky and um, so we had to turn our tablecloth inside out so <laughs> bear with me see um, we improvise and do everything on a budget here so with that being said um I went to Target, got several things in that dollar spot area. And one of the things I got was this canvas stocking. And what I want to do with this canvas stocking is I want to be able to put my logo on it. And I thought, well, um, Posca pins would probably be the best thing to do that. Well, Poscas, um, if you don't know, <laughs> are extremely expensive. So I got what Amazon recommended as like their their top recommended item um, if you were looking for Posca pens and you were wanting to go on a budget is this um, it's like OPD optimal acrylic paint pens quick dry and no fade ideal for metal wood ceramics rock glass and more and in the end and more it did say fabric uh on amazon the people were very nice they sent um i can't find it now unless i put it in the box they sent a card along with these um thanking me for buying and asking me if i would please you know give them a uh bit of a media presence we'll say you know put it across my different um me, uh, social medias and things if I liked the, the pins. Well, uh, we're going to find that out here. Um, I'm, I've just got a piece of um, smooth cardstock here, um, the white cardstock, to try them out on. Hopefully that will work. Um, I should have brought other items that I could try it on, but really I don't have anything other than that stocking. And I don't want to, sorry, I don't know why I fiddle with my table. Um, I don't want to try it on the stocking uh, because if I ruin it, I ruin it. I did get a second one because they were selling out just in case. Um, but anyway, so we're going to try it on here. We might even try it on the bag they sent. They actually sent this little bag. This is 20 pieces. Um, they're not all the bigger pens. There is, well, let's dump them out. All right, so what they have here is 16 of the large pens and four <laughs> sorry, four of these fine smaller fine point pens. Same thing, just smaller. The smaller ones, of course, they give you your black. I wish they would have had a larger one in the black and the white. They don't. You get the small one. Uh, I guess they figure the black, you're going to do your outlining, so you're going to want a fine tip. And your white, you're probably going to do mostly like highlighting, so you'll want a fine tip. They also have gold and silver, which I'm sure they figure, you know, you're not going to use that in large quantities. Metallic, gold and silver. Um, I've primed all the pens because I didn't want to take the time to do that, except for the red one. And this is really easy. Um, first of all, I want to tell you before I prime it, because I don't want to get all messy. You see, this has this rounded, like, I would call this more of a medium point. I mean, it's not a chisel, it's the rounded tip, but you can take this out and then you can have the, the chisel tip that also has the point, you know, so you can have a fine point. I don't know if you can see that one end, you have a chisel. The other you have a round. So you can change this out. Uh, once you prime it, you know, it's going to be a mess. But, um, you know, wear gloves, whatever. Or most of us that do artsy things, craftsy things, we end up with, with paint all over us or whatever. Any way, ink and all of that. So, regardless, they say to shake it up, baby, first. I can't sing. Um, and then, after you do that, you... Oh, you push it in two or three times to let the air out. It's got like a, like a rubber um, 
diaphragm type thing in here. And you just pump that up and down first to let the air out after you shook it. And then you press it on your paper and let, like most pins that you prime, you let your paint come down your tip. Some of them were a lot faster than others. I was a little concerned that a couple of them didn't have any, you know, workable paint in them, but they did. They eventually worked. So, um, so I wanted to show you, we'll swatch these a bit. And they are nice, bright colors. They are juicy. Hopefully you can see them. Hopefully I'm in frame enough. There's the red. I'm not doing this in rainbow order and all of that, guys, because I'm just going to get them how they are. And I'm sure that's going to, um, trigger some people. Oh, well, come on. Here's the orange. Maybe we'll go between the red and the yellow with the orange and just pacify those who would be bothered, but also to see if they can be kind of blended together a little bit. I don't know. Maybe it's my paper. I probably, you know, should have gotten more of a, maybe a watercolor paper even, something with a little more tooth to it. I don't know. So between those, there's also this, um, do they say they're actual colors? No, they don't. They don't seem to have a name on these. So there's also this other, okay, so you see the colors I've used so far, the red and this way, red, orange, and yellow. Well, this is sort of um, between the orange and the yellow. I don't know what color you would, I'd call it almost like a buttercup color. So maybe I could have gone between those two with that and sort of use that to work it into the yellow. Hmm, 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 from the orange to the yellow. We are, we're trying to get this figured out. Again, I'm quite sure that this is not the proper paper. One thing I don't know about, it's acrylics and acrylic pens and all of that. I, I admit readily that is not at all, this is the first I've touched any. So I might be like blown away by these where you guys are going to be like, oh no, 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 girl, you, you wasted your money. You should have just gone straight for the Poscas. I really wanted to. And if I could have afforded you, that's what it would have. Um, why? Because I see other people use Poscas on their channels. So, and I know that they're popular. So two different colors of green, a light one and a dark one. And so I'm it's definitely not going to be the right paper, guys. It's like really soaking in and um, so anyways, but it gives you an idea what the colors look like com as compared to maybe Posca's, um, how they work and the colors. I don't know. I'm just trying to show you that there's an alternative and this is what I got because I am going to do that stocking probably on my channel sped up because I take forever to do any kind of artwork warning you. I do take forever. Maybe we put the pink on this end. And then we're going to go straight from that into the purpley colors. It seems like it ought to get that way. You know, but that's not how the rainbow goes. But maybe it wraps around and then it meets in a circle maybe because look you got this and it kind of ties in to me to the other end and you know maybe maybe not i don't know probably not the lid looked you know it's definitely definitely different on my paper but again i think it has to do with my paper and probably a lot to do with me um i think we'll go with this one because it seems to be the next this brown and then this sort of sandy kind of weird color of brown tan it's almost a gray really hmm definitely not i mean that looks like this i know i didn't mix them up guys i definitely didn't mix them up see there it is and again it might look different on a different paper but I'm just trying to give you an idea. These are nice. They're juicy. They're, I mean, I primed them a couple days ago because I was going to make this video and then things happened and I wasn't able to. So, um, all right. So we have our, go from the grays to the silver and look how fine that tip is. I hope you can see it. I'll show you better on the black and I'll probably get closer to the screen. But I mean, this, 
I, if you go on the side, you can get a bigger swatch of it. But, I mean, you can get a serious fine line with this. I don't want to waste. It's a smaller barrel, so less ink. I really don't want to waste my metallics and stuff. But, just showing you the colors. Now, to me, the silver is more metallic-y than the gold. And that just may be, again, my paper or me. Um, I, would, I would like more of a... Um, I don't want to say metallic, more of a um, mm, burnish kind of, I don't know, sparkly kind of, what am I trying to say? Gold. I just want it to look more gold. Um, here's the black one. Okay, again, we can turn it on its side, and um, it's not quite as juicy as some of the other ones, and that may be that I need to prime it some more, because I didn't want to waste my black. Yeah, I think that's what it is, but. Um, I wanted to show you uh, real close up if you can see it, if it will focus, focus. Anyway, it's a very fine point. I don't know if you can tell because unfortunately my eyes are blurry. So is it my eyes that are blurry or is it the screen or both? Um, these do not flip around. So there are your swatches. You can see the fine lines up there. I primed it more right there, but you can see how it's kind of fine lined. All right, so here's the white one. Hopefully, it's a little hard to tell if you primed it enough when oh, the paper's white, but I'm going to do a little swatch across some of this hmm. for highlighting purposes. You know, what? Did I not shake it enough? What the world? It's like clear. It's not supposed to be clear. It's supposed to be white. I'm not sure what's going on with this one, guys. All right. I think I've got some white coming out of it now. Yes. Boy. Okay. F. Why I, if you get these, which I'm telling you, they're, they're a good deal. And for the life of me, I cannot remember how much they were. I, I will try to put the link um, in the video description. Shake this one a lot and test it quite a few times. Um, it was coming out clear. It now, I don't know if you can see it. It's crossed some of the darker colors there, brighter, darker colors. Um, it does work. Um I would maybe use my white gel pen that I love so much from Wish over it instead. Me. But there it is. Um, all right. I'm going to see if it works on fabric. I'm not going to try to... I have a sketch pencil here. Hmm. Can you see the... Yeah, a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing, if you're wondering. I was just trying to try to get centered or, you know, thought I'd put my initials on it. Um, my pens, my initials. Let's see if the white works on the fabric. Pen lid does fit snugly on the back. That's something that I really hate when they don't. I also hate when they get stuck, so. Um, don't expect anything magical because I am not that great at lettering. But I was just, more than anything, the idea was, because before I ruined the stocking, I mean, this doesn't, I don't want to say it doesn't matter, but it's just mine to put my pens in. So, you know, if it's not great, it's, you know, it's not a big loss. But I don't know that when I go back to Target, if they will have any more at all of those stockings. Because they had a big bin of them, well, a big bottom shelf, and there was like three left, so... Whether or not they'll get any more in, or if another one close by might have any, I don't know. <laughs> well, that went a bit crooked. Yeah, it's just going to be like that. Told you, 
I am not the lettering person, but you know, some people are. And when it comes to lettering, I'm kind of a one trick pony. I, I, I do it one way pretty much. We're going to try and do something and fill it in with some of the lighter colors and see, you know, how it dries on here. That's sort of the idea, anyways. No, this is going to be silly looking. I am no Mariah Elizabeth, guys. My granddaughters and I, we love to watch Mariah Elizabeth. And I just happen to have the same initials. So, all right. I just sketched out, sort of. I mean, it's a rough sketch. <laughs> Boy, it's a rough of my initials, you know. And now I'm just going to try filling it in with some colors here. I love pink. So I think this light pink would show up well on black. But I don't want to make like the whole thing is not going to be, you know, I'm going to do it in parts. It's probably going to take a couple of coats. So, um, it was a little difficult. I had to take several um, layers of the colors on this black, and that's probably my fault because I don't know about using the pins on the fabric, and it probably has to do with, there's probably something I should have primed it with or something, you know, like covered it with first. Um, there you go. There's my M.E. from Michelle Edmonds. Should have done, like, subscription boxes and more with Michelle, but... You know, that was a little much put on this little pouch. And that's actually what we're going to do with the stocking. So I think that, the, um, I think that obviously this is going to work for the stocking because this is canvas, that is canvas. I think it may show up better on the white than it did on the black and take less coats. I'm going to sketch it out by hand with a pencil and do it, uh, probably do it like in a sped up mode, uh, without a whole lot of talking, um, on the channel might, you know, um, do a little talking over the sped up mode. I don't know. I'm not sure because I don't know how to do all that yet. Uh, <laughs> I found, I told you they sent me like a thank you and all of that. It was inside the pouch and I was writing on it. So um, the company, it says we at Optimal Deals LLC. So uh, appreciate your support and, con and contribution to the growth of our company. Customer satisfaction is at the core of our business. And this sets us apart. Product reviews help customers like yourself be informed on what they are purchasing and also help small businesses like ourselves to grow. I would tremendously appreciate a little of your time to give product review. So I will do that. I think that the product, um, I think it performed well. Of course, I can't really say um, how it performs um uh, in comparison to Posca, since I've never used them, there's the company logo, OPB. 
and it's OPD optimal. Remember? Let's see if you can see that on there. So if you want to go and look those up, and I will try to put the uh, link in there. And they give you good uh, directions on how you can change the nib and how you uh, prime the pins and all of that. Um, good range of collars in their 20 set, I do believe. Uh, they give you three, no, nope, sorry. Basically two of each color, two blues, you know, light and dark green, same, of course, you know, pink and red, two different, no, pink and red. Helps if I know my colors. Uh, two purples. Then they, you know, they give you the range of the sort of yellow and then kind of a yellow, orange, and orange. Um, these in the more brown range. They don't look real brown on here. This looks more gray on the test paper. But when it, it's sort of a pumice, mm, sand color to pumice stone color, or whatever, right in there. When it dried, when it was wet, it looked really, really gray. This is more brown. Uh, it's right next to it between the purple and that so you know maybe not the world's best browns but they work and they may show up different on different paper a couple of different grays uh to go with those pinks and purples you've got this to transition kind of a burgundy kind of i don't know what you'd call it on sort of a mauvey purple i don't know and then you've got your small ones the black and the white and the silver and the gold so i mean you have a good array of colors uh, i think you should be able to do most anything that you want to do with this collection uh that you would want to do with the posca pens and um like i said i'd like to get a couple of those smooth uh rocks and try that they also sent me as a free gift for buying it at least as far as i know i didn't see it in the description um of course i clicked pretty fast because i am an impulse shopper so, uh, I think it was a gift. That's my understanding. I mean, I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it came with it and it was supposed to come with it. But uh, they gave me stencils for the ABCs and the one, two, threes. Hopefully, I don't have them backwards to you. I am dyslexic, so I'm trying to make sure that they're right side to you. Well, here they are both ways, just in case. Nice little addition. Um, I could have used those on there and you know but um, I'm not a big stencil person but I probably will use them on something I may even use them on the uh, stocking just to try to be more precise and because um, of having to fit everything in I don't know we'll see but I wanted to let you know that I got these and they are on Amazon and I will put the link and that I think you might like them and they are more affordable than Posco's and you would have to try them. I mean, if you've already used Poscas and you want some more colors or you just want to, you know, check them out and see how they compare. Hey, guys, they fit right in this pouch really well, too. Um, you know, I, I say tr give them a try. Give them a try. And if you've never used Poscas, well, then, like me, you won't be that disappointed. This is kind of hard to tighten up. But anyway, nice little pouch. Got my initials on it. There are my pins, and um, I will be back with you with something else. Um, when you notice, I am, I don't know if I'm going to change between every video. Um, my mother-in-law is uh, passing, and we need to make a trip from Missouri, Kansas City, Missouri, all the way to Indianapolis, Indiana. And so I'm trying to get some videos done ahead. And so if I seem rushed, or I'm me rushed, I run my mouth and videos go way too long. But, um... That's why I will be wearing the same thing and, you know, it's the same day. All right, so let's shut this off and start on the next video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. And so my... Um, numb fingers i was going to show you the white way over there i'll be right back really the problem is the plug is behind the freezer so you can't see the plug uh -huh. oh that will all be cut out of the video um, please...